If you have started observing that your forehead is becoming broader and wider, your hairline is receding from the sides and the front and slowly going backwards and you feel that you are looking older than what your actual real age is and this sort of hair loss is giving you some major concerns and you are concerned about how to improve upon that, how to treat this, then keep on watching this video till the end because this video is made exactly out for you. Hi friends, I am Dr. Satya Saraswar, a gold medalist plastic surgeon and an American board certified hair transplant surgeon and in this field of hair restoration for 17 years and have treated many patients who are suffering from similar kind of problem. Do subscribe to our channel so that you can keep yourself updated about all the latest information in the field of hair loss and hair treatments. So let us first understand what the problem is, why you are facing such kind of hair loss. So this is known as male pattern baldness, male pattern hair loss. Scientifically, this is known as androgenetic alopecia. This is a combination of three different terms. Alopecia at the end means that hair loss due to any reasons. Some people confuse the term alopecia with alopecia areata, which is an autoimmune kind of hair loss in which you lose the coin-shaped hair loss is there, which is happening on your scalp. Friends, alopecia means hair loss. Androgenetic. Androgens are the male hormones. So the most important male hormone is testosterone. This testosterone gets converted to 5-dihydrotestosterone by an enzyme known as 5-alpha reductase. So this 5-DHT is the main culprit behind your male pattern hair loss. The second term is genetic. This is very important for you to understand that there is a particular gene by the name of AR gene, androgen receptor gene. This you can inherit from your father's side or your mother's side. And once you inherit it and your levels of 5-DHT are higher, then these receptors of these genes are present in the hair from here to here. When the 5-dihydrotestosterone hormone attaches to these receptors, this causes thinning of the hairs, decrease in the hair cell formation and this can lead to this forehead recession, male pattern baldness, hairline recession which can slowly slowly keep on proceeding towards the back. So there is a grade of male pattern baldness from 1 to 7 depending on the severity of your hair loss. So this is the reason why you are having this problem. Problem. Please hit the like button and then we will discuss the treatments for this problem. Before we move on to the medical treatments and therapies and other things, let us see what your lifestyle modification can do for your hair loss. So friends, in lifestyle modification, we always advise our patients to take nutritious diet which is well balanced with minimum amount of junk food. We don't say that you have to absolutely stop taking junk but try to minimize it to once in three weeks. Do not take too much of junk food. Take all the natural foods which are are there which you have a habit of eating as per your local traditions. Also try to take a good sleep of at least 6 to 8 hours. Do not cut down your sleep and this sleep has to correlate with the natural day and night cycle. This is known as circadian rhythm. So whenever you are sleeping during the night hours then your good hormones are increasing. Your endorphins, your tryptophan, your melatonin and all those oxytocin and all those good hormones are increasing and your stress hormones like cortisol are decreasing. Nowadays the lifestyle is that because of work and other things people are sleeping very late in the night 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning and then sleeping up to 2 o'clock in the afternoon or 12 o'clock. This is very harmful for your skin and your ears. Try to have some stress relieving lifestyles incorporated in your daily routine like exercising, playing, games, meditation and things like that. These simple things can also decrease the pace at which you are facing this hair loss problem. If you are having such kind of hair loss and you want to know whom we should go to or reach out to, you can call us at the number given here and we will try to help you out with your particular problem. Now let us discuss the medicines which are really effective in this kind of problem. Friends, there are a lot of medicines which are advertised or you know you may be seeing about them everywhere on the net and all those things. But there are two medicines which are US FDA approved for your hair loss. The first one is Finasteride. Finasteride prevents the conversion of testosterone to 5-dihydrotestosterone by blocking the enzyme known as 5-alpha reductase. So once this conversion stops, the level of 5-DHT decreases. Once the level of 5-DHT decreases, the pace at which you are losing your hair decreases significantly. It has been found out that almost more than 90% of the patients are benefited by finasteride either in preventing further hair loss or increasing the thickness of your existing hairs or even causing 
in some regrowth but there are some side effects which are associated with finasteride and we have made a video which you can click on the link about to know about the side effects of finasteride specifically now the other medicine which is also very effective in male pattern baldness is minoxidil minoxidil basically relaxes the muscles which are around the hairs by blocking the potassium channel and because of this increased blood flow happens when the muscles are relaxed the blood flow increases when the blood flow increases in the scalp where the hairs are situated then this brings a lot of oxygen nutrition nutrients and other things which are very beneficial for your hair whenever you take these medicines do consult with a doctor before actually starting them because if there is a side effect then you need to be in touch with the doctor rather than just going to a, a shop a chemist shop and taking it on your own so this is highly discouraged that you start taking these medicines on your own just by watching a video this is just a guidance for you but the proper dose and treatment has to be taken under doctor's supervision you can write down in the comment section to let us know about your problem and we can try to reach out to you now let us discuss some more therapies which are useful and effective in your hair loss so in this part of this video we are going to discuss basically three therapies the first one is the laser second is derma roller and the third is prp so the first thing is laser which means low level laser therapy so these are a sort of cap or you know helmet kind of devices which you can purchase online and this has to be applied either 30 minutes alternate day or 15 minutes every day to get the maximum benefit this laser caps with the proper appropriate amount of lasers diode lasers in them and delivering a specific amount of energy in joules per centimeter square has been shown to be effective in preventing further hair loss by a process known as photo bio stimulation this again is FDA approved therapy for your hair loss but you should be consulting with your doctor second thing is a derma roller derma roller small needle shaped devices which you pass over your scalp then this sort of stimulates by sort of creating a controlled injury in your scalp it allows a lot of growth factors to come here wherever you are applying your derma roller and increasing the growth factor concentration and improving your hair loss condition the exact size of the needle the frequency and if there are any side effects how you can do it at your own home we have made a detailed video on this which you can click on the video in the link above now coming to the third thing which is prp prp is a medical therapy in which we take out a specific amount of your blood and then centrifuge fuse it at a particular speed and activate that PRP basically means platelet rich plasma so it is a component of your blood your plasma which has a very high concentration of platelets this platelet concentration should be at least four to five times your normal platelet levels then only it is going to be effective these platelets have a lot of growth factors which when activated and injected into your hair loss area can again improve your hair loss condition and make your hairs grow stronger but this is to be done by a a registered medical practitioner and you have to check out the qualifications of that hair loss doctor before actually starting that you can watch the video in the link given above to know more about prp if you have taken all these medical treatments therapies and it has not worked out for you or you are in that stage where you really want to find out a sort of a better solution and you want to regrow the hairs which you have lost in this receding hairline then the final kind of treatment solution is hair transplant hair transplant transplant is a time tested method to regrow the hairs where you have lost them and in this basically what we do is we take out the roots from the area where the roots are not having androgen receptor genes so the effect of 5 DHT is not there these hairs are genetically determined or destined to be there on your scalp for a very longer time when we take them out from the back by either FUE or FUT technique and then transplant them here in the hair receding hairline or the balding hair areas then these hairs grow in a very natural fashion you can check a lot of videos on our channel to know more about hair transplant where we have shown our patient testimonial results and a lot of other medical information about hair transplant is readily available for your use on our channel do share this video with your friends or colleagues loved ones or your family members if they are looking out for similar problem and they are stressed about this problem of receding hairline if you want to know the hair loss treatment option for the men you can click the video on the left and if if you want to see results of one of our patients having receding hairline you can click the video on the right